What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the spy family greatness Lloyd Forger and this is him in his casual outfit which to be honest I'm more excited for this one than I was when they came out with him wearing the suit. I just like this look a bit more, it's a bit more subtle but I feel like it's going to be more of an enjoyable figure. But anyway let's go ahead and stop wasting time and dive right into the sexy packaging. Now when it comes to the sexy packaging, as you guys can see, it's pretty much the same as what we've been getting. You have the more slimmer packaging as we had with Anya and Yor. Uh, it does still have the green theme along the sides. More of a lime green right here on the back versus the pink that we got with the others. It does say Lord Forger, father of the Forger family. The window where you can see the figure as well as some images all along the sides, the top and the bottom. Looking really dope here. And then of course on the back, you got some poses you can get the figure into as well as some of the accessories. And then and you have all of this down here i can't read because i imported it now my biggest issue with this figure is i truly wish they would have included this chair i hate when they show accessories in the promo shots that we don't get with the figure now granted that would have raised the price a little bit but i'm okay with that and i feel like most people would be now i know this is probably just something they did to show that the figure can't actually sit down but still it would have been cool to have anyway let's go ahead and bust it open and take a look at the figure now straight out of the packaging here we have the father of the Forger family, Lloyd Forger himself in his casual outfit as I mentioned earlier and I gotta say I'm already liking this release more than the original. This one definitely fixes some of the issues that the original version had. The number one being the very floppy legs. Like if you stood him up and you move the legs around, they're kind of going to flop all over the place. And sometimes it made it difficult for him to hold a pose. That's not an issue we have with this guy right here. Now, one thing I did notice, and it's probably the same with the original. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I've noticed that the proportions on this guy make him look like his head is really huge because like the feet and hands are supposed to be like right about the same size as the head to an extent. And I mean, obviously this is an anime character, so it's not a gripe, but it's just something that I noticed. His head does look pretty big, uh, but then also it could be the hairstyle. Either way, here they are both side by side. Still great looking figures nonetheless, man. And... I dig them. I really am loving the Spy Family line, and I hope that we get more characters. But anyway, not to dive too far off of what we're here to talk about, let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. Now, when it comes to this figure, this is one that's not really going to sell you in the appearance department. The aesthetics and everything look great, but what is really going to be the selling point of this figure is obviously the accessories. And that just depends on how casual of a fan you are. If you're big into the series, then obviously you're going to want to buy this one. But if you already have the original release, I can see a lot of people passing on this one. That being said, though, I said it earlier and I'll say it again. I do like this version better because it does some things better. The head sculpt's pretty much the exact same. Face plates and everything aren't too different other than the expressions, but um, they still have the same sculpt work and everything. The hair, I really am loving this hair down version. This looks really dope, man. Again, it's just giving that more casual, laid back, relaxed, sitting at the house look. As far as the t-shirt goes, not a whole lot going on. They do have the sculpted wrinkles as they should. The sleeves are rolled up. I love the single joints that they used. Hopefully they have double jointed range. We'll take a look at that later. Um, the diaphragm seems to be sculpted well enough and it's not really affecting the wrinkles that you have in the shirt. There is no shading at all but the way that the light is going to hit it it's always going to look like there's shading on the figure no matter how you hold it so that's not really a gripe of mine when it comes to the pants also very 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 neutral not a whole lot going on here you do have the sculpted creasing in there uh the wrinkles along the bottom looking really good um you also have the pocket sculpted on the back so that's dope the shoes i think are the same also let me pull this one back out. Here we go. Yeah, the shoes are pretty much the same, except these are more on the brown side versus on the original, a bit more black. But uh, again, side by side, both of these look really dope, man. And obviously, you're going to be able to interchange parts and things. I, I really dig both of these, man. And I love Spy Family, which is why I had to get both versions. But again, with these legs, as you can see, these just kind of flop 
you don't have that issue with this figure. So upping on the engineering, I'm all about quality. So I loved that they fixed that. Anyway, let's go ahead and put him back and see how tall this very tall figure stands. So if you saw my review of the original release, I believe back in January, then you'll know that these Spy Family figures are not your average SH figure arts when it comes to the height because to the top of his head, he's right at about six and a half inches, uh, actually pushing more towards seven. So very, very tall figure. Now, I did say this before, and I'm going to stick to my guns on this one. I think that they scaled this one up because of the fact they want Anya to scale well with them also. And they had to make her a bit of a bigger figure instead of doing what they did with older figures where characters just look too big in comparison to the other releases like Gotenk standing next to Goku just absolutely too tall so yeah articulation wise he looks up very freaking well very 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 freaking well he looks down about that much which is also great all kinds of tilt and turn you don't really have any restrictions at the head at all the arms can go up and out about more than this actually so yeah those reaching poses not going to be a problem they do kind of tuck under the joint right there at the butterfly so that's really good and then you can extend them out to get him in those reaching grabbing poses in case you want to have him holding Anya in front of him or something like that he does have a swivel right there at the bicep single jointed elbows with almost double jointed range not quite though that's about as much as you're gonna get which that's fine I'm not gonna complain hands are on a very tiny ball peg but it feels like it's sturdy I don't think this is one we have to worry about breaking you can pretty much move them around however you want so no issues there um, once we fix this at the diaphragm that's good man that's really good rocker and everything is great he leans back about that much but you will get some gapping um and then you kind of have to pull forward he doesn't lean forward much though if that's the sad part so that kind of sucks but oh well uh if you use the lower part of the waist he leans forward a bit more but not a whole lot you still get some rocker going on in there and uh not really any twist and turn so don't expect that ah oh, that kind of sucks i do wish you could turn him a bit but it is what it is the foot goes up and out about that much <clears throat> excuse me so he can kick no problem let's see here when it comes to the splits about that much so that's fine he does have a thigh swivel single jointed knee uh this kind of sucks man i wish they would have did double jointed on that uh, man that that's it's ugly too but i don't know uh, there's plenty of ways they could have sculpted around that so i'm not gonna give that one a pass uh the knee is definitely ugly but it works and again single jointed that's kind of weak but it is what it is uh foot goes up about that much down about that much not much at all uh a bit of ankle rocker a bit you can kind of forge it uh actually um, no that's good i'm not gonna say that's bad that's actually really good and it works very well so yeah uh and then he does have tokens so articulation wise very very strong at the top a little bit weak at the legs uh the feet are just fine so overall i mean i'll give it an eight out of ten for sure now, when it comes to accessories, again, this figure excels. This is how he comes straight out of the packaging. We have a neutral head sculpt with him smiling and a pair of slightly relaxed hands. Then he comes with a pair of ungloved hands for when he's holding his newspaper. He comes with a pair of relaxed hands for when he's in thief mode. He comes, or spy mode. He comes with a pair of fist hands for when he's ungloved. And then he does come with a pair of gloved hands fist hands now he also comes with a pair of crossed arms i always love when they throw these in because i just feel like they're very dope accessories he comes with um three different interchangeable hair pieces so we have the one with the bangs down we have the one with the bangs up which is the same one we got with the original release and then he comes with the masked head also and this is for when they were doing the uh, anya getting kidnapped and he ended up throwing hands with your and let's not forget my boy Lloyd got hands because he made it throwing hands with Yor. Now, granted, she was drunk. He still got out there with him. Now, when it comes to the face plates that he comes with, all of them are completely different than the original release. I actually just went to make sure he comes with this teeth gritted face right here or kind of like 
neutral, almost like concerned expression. He comes with his drunk expression, which this is going to be my favorite. He comes with, uh, this one's probably the most similar to the original release. His eyes are a bit squinted though, and he's still kind of, he looks angry. And then he comes with a happy face as well. So this is dope. Last but not least, he also comes with a newspaper. As you can see, it looks like stuff's really printed on there, but I don't, I don't think so. Uh, like lettering and everything. I don't want to zoom in and mess it up. But uh, you have it on both sides. So this is a really dope accessory. It is paper, so it is going to rip. It's not like it's plastic. So be careful with it, especially when it comes to getting fingerprints and all of that on here. And just to show you guys the interchangeability when it comes to the accessories, here is one of the faceplates that came with the original release now on the newer body and it fits just fine. And then we also have the drunk face that came with this newer release on the older body. So yeah, playability is all there when it comes to these figures. And it's the same with Anya. I'm expecting the same with your. Moving on to size comparisons, here he is standing next to some of the original releases. We have the very first Anya Forger figure. We have the very first Lloyd Forger figure. And of course, we have the queen herself, Yor. Now go ahead and drop a like for your boy because it was very difficult to get all of these three figures to stand up on this fabric. I would greatly appreciate it. But anyway, as you can see, they all look very good together. Next up, here he is in the next to some SH Figure Arts Shonen protagonists. We have the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super CGI Goku, the SH Figure Arts Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness, Yuji Itadori, and the SH Figure Arts One Piece Monkey D. Luffy. For some Figmas, here we have him standing next to the Figma Jujutsu Kaisen Greatness Honored One Satoru Gojo, the Figma Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer Ringoku, and then the Figma Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academia Deku. Lastly, for some extras, here he is standing next to the Metacom Toy or Mafex Black Suit slash Symbiote Suit Spider-Man, a Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, and a Jax Pacific Supersonic. Now, when it comes to my final thoughts for this figure, I got to say, it's one I know is not for everyone. Unless you're a completionist or you're just a big fan of Spy Family like myself, it's not necessarily one that you have to add to your collection. But if you decide to do so, the fun factor is there. If you enjoyed the first figure, you're going to enjoy this figure. It's just a given at this point. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it right when it comes to making these. Now, I am truly looking forward to your... Now, granted, I know she's going to have have some articulation limits just because of the outfit i don't really care man everyone loves her it's supposed to be a casual outfit for her, so it's not like you should have your expectations too high this figure turned out to be better than i thought it was going to be but at the same time i knew it was going to be a good figure one issue i do want to go ahead and throw out there though well not necessarily an issue but more so something that i noticed uh the crossed arms be careful guys, I thought that these were two different pieces and so I tried to take it apart and I kind of pulled away at some of the plastic. Now granted, you can't see it, it's hidden behind the arms so it's kind of in the middle of where they connect. It's not something you're going to notice but I did slightly pull it apart. So yeah, I made that mistake. For those of you watching, make sure you don't do it. It is meant to be one piece. So just want you guys to know that but um also i do want to say they are a bit tough to interchange don't try to do it without putting on some hot water make sure that you let this figure soak a bit uh therefore the plastic kind of softens up and it'll be easy to put them on also the same with taking them off it's getting cold outside you don't want to break your figures because they do tend to thicken or soften in plastic just based on the weather so yeah be cautious of that but overall very fun figure i really enjoy it uh i'm gonna continue collecting this line i've got your on pre-order i've got bond on pre-order i do have um the other two kids on pre-order i can't think of their name it's escaping me right now but um i'm gonna have fun with these i truly am man spy family is a very fun slice of life anime and if you haven't checked it out um i'm surprised you're here but if you haven't checked it out i highly recommend looking into this anime man it's very enjoyable it's goofy it's it's very soft-hearted it's just a fun time to break you away from all the action that's jujutsu kaisen attack on titan dragon ball or whatever it is that you're into watching but hope that you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to the channel if you haven't already make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when 
whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.